What up, YouTube? Notice something new? The right side of my face isn't as dark as the last video. The difference from then to now is I changed my light bulb. And of course, I didn't have my light turned on last video. If I had done that, the light would be all yellow. Really, really yellow. So what I did was actually really simple. I changed my light bulb from this one to this one. And then I covered the lamp with a piece of paper. So it wouldn't be like, ah, lighty my face. Do you know? That's not good. Remember in my last video when I said, to find out how I got fat, hit the subscribe button and you'll find out in future videos. Well, that future video is now. It all started many years ago. I was swimming a lot of the time. Actually, ten times a week. <laughs> no wonder I had such an amazing body. <laughs> well, I, well, I don't think I've got more than them. So when you're working out that much, you also need to eat much. Oh, I also forgot to mention I have a disease called scoliosis, which turned my spine into sort of an S-shape. Well, back to the swimming. As I said, I worked out a lot, and it took a lot of my time. It was fun, but I didn't see myself as an Olympic swimmer. Yes! Yeah! 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 So I decided to stop the swimming because of what I said before, and because the doctor said that within the next year I had to get surgery. Which I, by the way, had waited for in quite a long time, so... But instead of going from 10 times a week down to zero, I went from 10 to 3 because, you know, I'm smart. I did this for 3 months before I stopped swimming. In this time I had gotten a job, so I made money. Which resulted in me being able to buy junk food and candy. Plus, I still ate as much as before, or at least close to. So I slowly started gaining some fat. Well, I still worked out a couple times a week with fitness and underwater rugby. So therefore, I didn't lose my muscles. Two months after this, it was time for the surgery. So the doctors cut me open and straightened my back with some metal holding it in place. <laughs> so yeah, huge improvement. Fun fact, I grew about two to three centimeters by that surgery. I was a week at the hospital before they kicked me out, and then around three weeks at home. And this time I was laying down a lot. The only time I stood up was if I had to use the bathroom or if I simply just had to get something. A DVD, food, or something like that. Only time. <laughs> well, I guess you can imagine what that did to my body. This time I lost muscles and gained weight. So, <laughs> not a good combination. After this, I wasn't allowed to do any sort of sport for six months and a year for more wilder activities. So no training and still eating the same. Not a good cocktail. I drew this to show you what it sort of looked like. This right here is the amount of. This right here is the time. This. <laughs> Is my training? Wow, boom, went straight down. And uh, this is my eating habits. Went up, junk food and candy, so not a good combination. So once again, I gained fat. So around summer, I was allowed to work out again. But you know, only on a little basis, not fitness or something crazy. 
So I started biking and I did that a couple of times, but I kind of threw all that work in the trash can when I went to Spain. Boy, did we drink a lot of coke. So after the vacation, I started pulling myself together. I reopened my membership in the fitness, since the doctors now allowed me to do that. Put a new danger herd around the corner. Junk food everywhere. Well, not exactly. I started in what I think is translated to high school. In a big city with junk food and cheap candy everywhere. Well, my training went great until Christmas. I kind of stopped working out in all of December. I think I did it once or twice. And then, you know, I ate a lot more in December. Because everything is so delicious in December. Now I have made a New Year's resolutions and once again, I'm back on track. My plan is, I will work out three times a week and also use my pull-up bar every day. Then I want to eat less and healthier. That means less fast food. And that was it for this time. You can follow my progress by watching future videos. Subscribe if you want to get notified when these future videos will be uploaded. Or just to see when I upload new awesome stuff. Thanks for watching and hopefully I'll see you next time.